Most of you know me. Yes. yes. <laughs> For those who don't, I grew up here in the Edinburgh Church. Um, I was born here, I was the first baby. Yeah. <laughs> the first baby to be born here. Um, so I grew up in this church and then I left uh, at 12 years old in 2005 um, to go to France to bring my mom is French. <laughs> So we left there in 2005, and um, most of you probably don't know this, but it was a very hard time for me, um, moving away from my home country, hi, <laughs> and um, not only moving country, moving, moving to foreign language too, um, I started, I grew up in, a, in Edinburgh, which is a big city and stuff, and <laughs> I moved to a very small town uh, where there wasn't much to do and there were many young children or, or teenagers or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so school was very, very different from Edinburgh. Um, school was very hard and people were quite discouraging all the time. Mm -hmm. Teachers were very, very, um, you know, very discouraging, very closed up to any new ideas, any... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so that was kind of a really hard time for me for about maybe four or five years. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, what concerns God and spirituality, I think, um, that really affected me because I grew up in a very social family and so when I moved to France I felt alone and um, although I went to church, I had quite a few friends there, uh, I went to camps, teen camps in the, um, in the summer, I always came back really encouraged and stuff, but that almost all the time, it wore out perfectly. Um, so, God rapidly became a quite touchy subject for me. And then when I was 17, um, I met a guy who uh, was everything I ever needed at that time for, uh, because I didn't felt love from God. So, his name was Steph. I said, I'm still in Steph. <laughs> <laughs> so his name is Steph. And most of you um, probably met him two and a half years ago. Yeah. I came here with him. So, uh, who I long thought and still maybe think is the love of my life. Um, but, you know, as you know, uh, he was probably, the thing was, he was the, the main blockage between God and me. And although becoming a disciple was always in my plans, uh, always in the back of my mind, um, yes, I didn't know when. But the more I invested in this relationship, the more I felt that it would be difficult to find my way back to God. So that was kind of a really rough time for me, although it was some of the happiest years of my life, I just I felt there was something missing. Mm -hmm. uh, though I had times throughout the years where I suddenly had, had peaks of desire and, um, and determination to go through with all of it, um, Every time I would start to count the costs um, of me becoming a disciple, I just I would get discouraged and, and I would quickly go back to the way it was. But then um, I think a major thing that happened was last year, last summer, um, we had a couple coming over from from uh, Indianapolis, um, Christelle and Joshua Maxwell, who uh, I instantly clicked with, especially Christelle, um, because we had the same backstory and. Um, she was born in Paris and she moved over to, to the States when she was 11 and so we kind of clipped and had the same, had the same problems when we were teenagers and stuff. So um, she shared the same humor and most of you know I'm quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was a good thing, so we basically clicked um, for that and the same interest and in all that stuff. So I studied the Bible with her and my best friend who got married last weekend, by the way. <laughs> and so it took a while because I had to once and for all count the cost and, um, and finally take action. So at that time, I was starting to be fed up with, uh, with my life. And um, because I knew something was always missing all along and um, something I had wanted for a very, very long time. So the thing was, uh, Steph was always really, really supportive, actually. Um, telling me always to, to go ahead and chase my dreams and chase what I really wanted and chase my happiness. Um, and that, I think, it what hurt the most because I knew I had to surrender to God completely. 
And um, that was the, the hardest thing I ever had to do in my whole life, I think. Um, uh, but through many tears and many prayers and begging God, uh, asking Him why He was doing this to me, uh, I suddenly started to trust God and to, to open up. And uh, because I knew it wasn't in my hands anymore, um, because I wouldn't be the one to lead step to God if he ever he was to, to, to change his mind. So surely enough, as you all know God very well, <laughs> he started to really reveal himself to, to me and to my family. Um, because Steph was lost, um, obviously, um, he didn't really understand, but he wanted, to, he wanted me to go through my, my Bible studies that I was doing at the time with him, so that you can understand where I was coming from and sure. where I was going. Mm. So we wanted to understand what the path I was leading, obviously. And then, um, so he made a promise to me one day that he would open himself up to God and wow. to ask questions and to come to church more and maybe, maybe study the Bible with someone. So you can all pray for that. Um, so from there, I, I really, I guess, my faith was growing immensely. and. Um, the more time passed, the more I learned to just trust God completely and to let go of my anxiety because I was someone who was really, really stressed out and just I couldn't trust my trust my gut and trust just everything will be fine. And um, so it's been a month now that I've been baptized. Because <laughs> it doesn't become perfect and instantly. I think it was even harder after because, um, well, it's just so much was. I had so much more, many more responsibilities, and, um, but I think I had the, the, I don't know. It was much easier to just let things go and um, trust myself and surrender myself completely. Uh, but I can't say with confidence that it was the best decision I've ever made. And um, because now I'm in a place where, where I'm completely at peace with uh, whatever may happen and um, and whatever God has in store for me. So whatever that is, <laughs> but I, I now can say that I completely trust God and, Amen. and, and I'm completely at peace with whatever whatever may happen. So to conclude. I'd like to thank every one of you very much uh, for always being there for me and since the beginning, um, since I was born, most of you know me and since I was really small too. Um, well, thank you for still being in my life <laughs> and making me who I am today, of course, because you all were part of my story and part of who I am. And I wouldn't change my story for the world because it's been a heck of a ride. <laughs> and I consider myself really lucky to have such a to have had such a rich and a full life within my small 25 years and um, with so many great people. And so I'd like to encourage you to delight yourself in the Lord. And uh, yeah, that's been very